Another one. Again, first question we ask ourselves. So let's just E2, E1, SN1, SN2. What kind of alkyl halide do we have? Primary, secondary, or tertiary? Secondary. So that doesn't eliminate anybody. What kind of nucleophile do we have? Reactive or less reactive? Is it reactive, right? Again, I added that in there. So it's reactive, so that eliminates E1 and SN1. So down to E2 and SN2. Then we look at how the size of the nucleophile. Is this a big or small nucleophile? Big, right? Make sure you, you can recognize what this means as far as what a structure would look like. So it means this. That's that tert butyl group. That's a big, bulky base. It's reactive. Good. So we're probably thinking E2 then, right? Large base, not going to do SN2. Now, again, once you have E2, you got to find your beta hydrogens. So how many types of beta hydrogens are there? How many types of beta hydrogens? Just one. Just one. Carbon one, two. There are no hydrogens on carbon three. So there's only one type of beta hydrogen. It's this one. And carbon one. All right. The one on two is attached. That's 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 attached to the. That's not two bonds away. Okay. It's one two from the carbon, not from the thing. Never. That's the classic thing. I think I said that right the first day. People are going to try to do eliminations on the carbon of the leaving group. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is never gets eliminated. No, 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 no. Beta hydrogens. One, two. From the carbon. All right? So that's our leaving That's all we have one type of alkene we're going to make, but now we need to make sure it's anti-periplanar. And right now, if you looked at this, they're not anti-periplanar. Right? So we need to draw the Newman projection. That's what I would do. And if I was looking here, at my head would be a hydrogen. My right would be the ethyl. At my feet would be a phenyl. All right, it's an H. So an H there and a bromine here. This was carbon one in the front, carbon two in the back. Gotta be able to draw those new projections, just like the chairs. Still gotta be able, gotta be able to do that stuff. So now you need to rotate one of the carbons, one or two, it doesn't matter which one you rotate, you just need to rotate one of them. Because um, you need to get this bromine on this carbon, on carbon two, and this H on carbon one, uh, 180 degrees apart. So let's rotate, let's rotate carbon one. And we're gonna need to rotate 120 degrees, right? 120, we take this H and put it over here. So we're gonna rotate clockwise 120 degrees. So I didn't move carbon two at all. So the bromine stays there. Of course, still needed the staggered conformation. There's the H, there's the ethyl, it's right there. Carbon one, carbon two. So now our bromine and our hydrogen are anti periplanar So now we can draw the mechanism here. Taking the H, electrons can go there, take that out, so you can look and see, right, the methyl and the H are on the same side, and the ethyl and the benzene ring are on the same side, so when you draw your alkene, carbon 1, if it's over here, carbon 2, there's your methyl, there's your ethyl, and there would be your H, and there would be your phenyl ring. So the biggest thing, I think, just to make sure you do all the steps you need to do. You need to decide it's E2. You need to draw the correct new, you need to identify the beta hydrogens. See how many types you have. All right, this one you only had one type, so it's pretty easy. All right? Draw the new projection of what it currently is. Rotate however you need to to get the leaving group and the hydrogen the beta hydrogen you want 120 degrees apart and then just identify where things are at on the new algae.